Hi, I'm Dr. Bernetta Heron. I'm a general and breast surgeon here at Sinai Chicago, and today we're going to talk about common breast problems. Because most breast problems and breast cancers are actually not something that you can feel, that you can only see on imaging, it's really important to start annual mammograms at the age of 40. Um, we do recommend having that every year um, going forward. Um, we do see an increased amount of breast cancer at younger ages in Hispanic women. Also, there tends to be a delay in diagnosis um, and definitive care for both Hispanic and Black women, um, and that's why we see such profound disparities in the outcomes. Um, so it's really important to start those annual screenings and to do self-monthly exams and to see your doctor if you notice any changes, have any questions, or something just doesn't feel right, um, or if you're having any problems following through with getting a mammogram. Um, if you have a strong family history of breast cancer, um, we do recommend starting the mammogram. Uh, let's say for instance, you had a mother who had breast cancer at the age of 45. We usually start our mammograms at the age of 40, but if you're, you have a first degree relative that had a young breast cancer, even possibly a second degree relative, we would start that imaging 10 years before that age that the person had. So if the person had it at the age of 45, excuse me, like the parent had it at the age of 45, then they would start their mammograms at the age of 35. What this does is give us an opportunity to keep an eye on things earlier um, and to raise any suspicions earlier and to have like a closer level of surveillance. Also, I would say along with that, if you do have a significant strong family history of breast and other related cancers, um, talk to your doctor about that because that's something that we may recommend doing genetic screening and possible testing for. I'm Dr. Heron, and this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month.